Well, hello there and welcome to How Do I Homeschool. My name is Rebecca Dever and today we're going to be talking about homeschool activities for primary school aged children. This channel is all about homeschooling, so if that is a topic that interests you, please like and subscribe. A great homeschool activity I love doing with my child and as a homeschooler growing up I've always loved it is going to the library. Again you can do this at any age you like. I do tend to vet the books my child reads and gets from the library because I often find a lot of them are not so good. So do have a look before the child checks out those books. I just find it's a really good place for learning and for curiosity to flourish. Another great activity no matter what age the children are is gardening. So set them up with their own little veggie garden patch if you've got the room and then get them to choose what seeds you're going to put in and watch them grow. When the children are younger you will certainly be helping them a lot but when they're older and they're teenagers they can actually grow vegetables for the family. A fantastic homeschool activity for primary school age and middle school age children is going out and doing nature study and so go out with a journal with perhaps a microscope with a pen you can even take even take some nice watercolor paints with a sketch pad and go out and look at different things in nature animals plants trees leaves and just draw or paint what you see also research or you could take a photo or write down what you've seen again do a little sketch and then go and research what that plant animal was that you saw this is a really great way to get familiar with common plants and animals around your area because i know so many of the plants around i actually know what is edible and what is not and i realize how many plants we walk past that are actually edible and nobody has any idea. Primary school age children love painting and so I really recommend you get a smock for them, put it on, teach the children how to sit at the table and use their paints wisely, that is not just plastering it over everywhere. I am quite strict that my children only paint and take their paint brushes and they only stay on the table because I don't want paint everywhere so I'm quite strict about their, that. But what I have found that very quickly they get into the hang of painting and painting neatly as well. Another great homeschool activity, especially if you're a girl, is beading. Try and do some beading and just create some really nice, say for example, earrings or necklaces or bracelets. Stamp collecting. Well, it was a thing back then, but why not start it again? It can be a really good way to discuss different things that have happened in history. Cooking. What about cooking? I loved cooking as I was growing up, and I have become a great cook as I've been older because I spent so many hours in the kitchens. My parents loved coming home to the smell of an amazing spaghetti bolognese or an amazing cake that had just been cooked for them, and I loved cooking it as a teenager. Paper macheing is always a fantastic hit. I find this is particularly a hit for younger children and middle school age children. What about insect collecting? You can find dead beetles or dead, I don't know, other insects and you can collect them and put them out on a ray so you can have a look at them. Another great homeschool activity is sport. See if you can round up a few of your homeschool friends or kids who are your own age and go down to the local park and play a game of soccer or whatever else it is together. This is a really great place to socialize together and also for the parents to socialize together as well. A really great activity if you're finding things are really heating up at home is to just go for an easy walk and just have an easy conversation together as you walk together and you sit down and you are just just doing life together and the child gets to see you and your character and they just grow from that and I just find that I love outside because it really decreases the stress and anxiety especially in little kids uh, and toddlers as well. I would also like for my children to learn how to love other people well and so if you're finding somebody is struggling around you, perhaps somebody is sick or they're struggling in another way, try to talk to your child about how can, you can do something for that person to make them feel better or to make their day just a little bit brighter. Do you have flowers in your garden? Well go pick some for them. Could you cook them a meal? Well 
go do that and do that together with your child. So it comes across and that you're teaching the child to love the other person. So they're not just thinking about themselves as well. Naming plants. Get your children to take a little photo of every plant in your garden. Put each plant down in a book and then get them to use a plant identifying app to find out what those plants are. As a Christian, I love the Bible. It is my favorite book and I really want to encourage my children to also have a love for the Bible and a love for Jesus. And so why not sit down and read the Bible with them or open up a children's Bible and read it with them. When they are old enough, we are going to be talking about the Proverbs and reading out one proverb at a time and discussing it. And I just love the opportunity that I'm going to have with them to inculcate them with wisdom. So I hope this video has been really helpful in giving you some ideas for homeschool activities. My name is Rebecca Devitt. Please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This channel is about homeschooling and so if that is a subject that interests you, please like and subscribe.